everybody, it's Rachel from Rock Island Public Library, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some seed bombs to celebrate Earth Day. So here on the table are some of the things that you're going to need. We have a blender, which is actually optional for this craft, some water, our packet of seeds, and these are wildflower seeds. I have some newspaper, scissors, and this is a cardboard egg carton that I kind of cut off the top and the little tab here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut up your newspaper and it's actually okay if you don't have any newspaper laying around. You can use cardstock, computer paper, anything in the paper form as long as you can cut it up into pieces somewhere like this. If it's a little bit bigger that's okay and if it is thicker than newspaper you're going to need a little bit more time for it to soak through. So your next step, after you have all your little pieces of paper cut up, similar to this, and you can put it in a bowl, a mason jar, a bucket, whatever vessel you have around, you're going to add water. So you're going to want to be real careful with this step because you can always add water and you're just going to add enough to dampen it and make sure that everything's all covered, like so. So let's check it. That looks good. And if you accidentally pour too much water, you can always cut up more paper. And after you have it soaked to your liking, make sure it's not overflowing with water, you're gonna wanna let it sit for at least 15 minutes. So that way all the paper can be soaked through thoroughly and then we're gonna blend it. Now, if you remember me saying the blender is optional, you can always soak it for an additional amount of time and that way the paper will get kind of this mushy texture. But as a time saver today, I'm gonna to use a blender just to kind of speed up the process of soaking. So it's been around 15 minutes and I am going to put this in the blender. And to save your ears, um, I'm gonna blend it off camera, but um, I'll show you the consistency afterwards because you're may, you may or may not have to add a little water depending on how much you put in originally. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. So I'm gonna show you the final product and what the consistency will should look like. Put it under the light here. So it should be very wet to the touch. Um, however, you can see that it's not kind of overbearing with water and you should still see little chunks of the newspaper in it like that right there. Um, so if you aren't using a blender, just make sure those pieces are cut up really well and that, that, that they are soaked all the way through with water. And then we'll move on to our next step here. Okay, and for our next step, we are going to take our cardboard egg carton. Now, the reason why cardboard is better than using the styrofoam ones is that you can actually use cardboard like this, the egg cartons, as seed starters. Um, so you can actually bury this in the ground with the seed bomb and all, and it'll grow, and it's very natural. However, if you use styrofoam, the plant will not grow, and you'll have to wait for the seed bomb to be completely dry and pop out before you actually garden it. All right, so what you can do is actually individually cut these out if you'd like. Um, I chose not to because I'm probably just gonna wait for it to dry and pop uh, the seed bomb out to bury. So what you're gonna wanna do is take some of your mixture, just like so, maybe around that much. And what you're gonna wanna do is kinda put it around so it molds to the inside of the carton and let's get a little bit more here and you see you have that divot in the middle that you're making all right and let me kind of finish this off camera it is hard to do with one hand so i'll be right back Okay, so you can kind of see here how I kind of formed the paste into the egg mold. So you have these divots here, just like that. And don't worry, it's going to dry as a whole piece, and then you'll just be able to pop it out in the end here. So our next step is to take our seed mixes. Um, I do have a bee and butterfly mix here, and then a bee feed mix. And these are just regular wildflower mixes. Um, you can use any type of flower mix that you want. 
Um, they're available at any box store, any uh, store with a garden center or your local garden areas. And I'm gonna show you, you don't really need much, just a little bit, let me see here. About that much, we'll do two of each. And you just kind of kind of fill it just like that. You see there. Okay, now that you have your bottom half of your seed bomb filled with seeds, just like you see here, you're going to take some more of your mixture. And then what you're going to want to do is kind of just seal the top and kind of fill in so you don't see any seeds anymore. Just like that so let's do the other three and you kind of want to make sure that it's meeting the sides that you already built for the bottom so that way it dries in all one piece and just cover up the seeds that you see Okay, and this is your final product. Um, like I said before, it, it takes anywhere between 24 and 48 hours for these to dry. Um, you can also use silicone molds if you don't have uh, any egg cartons lying around. They can also be used to make fun shapes for crafts for kids or families, what have you. Um, but like I said, I do like these cardboard egg cartons because you can just directly bury them in the ground. Uh, so they're eco-friendly, great to use, and it's a great upcycling craft project to do. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. This is, again, Rock Island Public Library, and happy Earth Day 2020 to all of you. So I hope you had fun watching this craft, and I hope you'll try it at home with your family.